Hi guys, I'm Gordon from Hong Kong. Welcome to my RC channel. This is the part 2 video on my 4 wheel drive lunchbox build. In this video, I'm going to show you how to modify the wheels, install the shocks and wheelie bar. Ok, let's start with the wheels. For the original lunchbox front wheel, they don't have the hexagon insert. So how do you transfer the power or the motion to the front wheel? My solution is get one of these white bearings, the original plastic bearings. Then you file an arch in the middle of the bearings so that it can accept the metal pin. Then drill two holes at the side of the plastic bearings. Also drill two holes in the middle of the wheel hub. Add two screws to the wheel hub, locking the wheel hub and the bearing together so that the power can transfer from the axle to the wheel hub. I spray the wheel hub chrome silver. I think it looks very good on my lunchbox black edition. To install the wheels, you will need 4 of these 2cm screws. Install the rear wheels with the original spacers. And install the front wheel with the modified wheel hub. For the shocks installation, my suggestion is buying a 10 cm oil fill shocks and replacing the bottom arm of your new shocks with the original 9125 shocks bottom arm. shocks installation you will need a small pieces of plastic tubing put between the shocks and the shocks tower then screw them together tightly Then for the wheelie bar, you will need the original back bumper from the 9125 and trim it down to be the basis of the wheelie bar. Drill a hole on the wheelie bar from the lunchbox and also a hole on the basis of the plastic bumper.
file down the edges of the plastic hopes. Drill two holes at the side of the plastic hub to accept the wheelie bar screws. Since the 9125 has so much power, I have to extend the wheelie bar a lot to keep the car stable. You will need two pieces of half inch aluminium, a piece of half inch rubber, wheels and axles from the Tamiya Wild Mini 4-wheel drive series. Drill one extra hole on the wheelie bar. Now you will have a wheelie bar long enough to keep the car stable and will not flip over. All this conversion can apply to the body shells that fits Tamiya CW C1 chassis, such as the Mitsubishi Mondero wheelie, Unimo 406 wheelie, Midnight Pumpkin. Okay guys, this is the end of my four-wheel drive lunchbox build. Thanks for watching. See you next time.